Well, it's been two days since we uh, built the uh, maggot farm and we're now gonna go and see if we have some results. Oh, I suspect we do. There was lots of flies around there the other day. And there you go. There's so many of them. You can see them crawling around the lid. Oh, there's just a ton of them. That's a lot of maggots. But they're supposed to drop down into the um, the other bucket. Let's have a look. Oh, there's just tons of them. That's a right result, isn't it? That's so good. How nice is that? So now we're going to take them down to the uh, the pond and uh, see if we can't feed down fish with them. See if they'll eat them. Well, there's lots of maggots floating on the uh, pond surface now, as you can see. And I don't think it's going to be long before these fish come eating. I can see the fish starting to come towards them. Here we go. I can see them just swimming underneath them. Well, that's way more maggots than I thought we'd get. But uh, yeah, fantastic result. Absolutely brilliant. So uh, yeah, hopefully they'll uh, feed on them and... Uh, It'll help, It'll, it's just a small supplement. You know, every little bit helps, that's a fact. As you can see, there's just a load of them. Fantastic, that's just fantastic news. I'll take these down as well. Put them, throw them in there and see what happens. The fish are now starting to feed on them. Yeah, they seem to like them. As they're sinking, I can see them uh, taking them. So uh, yeah, it's a good result. Happy days on the farm. Well, that's an excellent result. So it means we're gonna get some more bins and make a few more. Again, it's uh, all free food at the end of the day. Anything to supplement. Uh, we've got lots of vegetation growing around uh, the pond, including morning glory and now duckweed as well. Although we introduced some duckweed the other day and it got eaten within minutes, so um, it's all good news. So yeah, it gives the fish a varied diet as well. Of course the maggots are high in protein, so that'll help fatten up the uh, fish a bit. It's just fantastic. Well, we've uh, just unloaded the truck with the rest of the uh, chain link fence in and uh, Kay is on site. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to weld it on, spot weld it. They say it will be stronger. I'll go with that. I'm no engineer, but uh, it makes perfect sense to me. Dad's just uh, moved the uh, DAC DAC round just to over there. They'll run cables from that to the power unit for the welding gear. And that is how we're going to generate power. That DAC DAC, I seriously, it's just something else altogether. It just about covers everything we need for power on the farm. It's just an incredible piece of kit. Now, how long this is going to take, I have no idea. But uh, let me just work my way around here without falling down. Yeah, I've got no idea how long this is going to take, but I should imagine uh, a couple of days at least. There's a lot of chain link fence in here. In total, it's 35 meters long and 12 meters wide. Somebody asked me uh, yesterday about the fish and how's the weight coming. Um, the last time we checked them was about three weeks ago and they were just up to about 300 grams from the sample that we took. Um, not actually sure, I've got to do it again and hopefully I'll get round to doing it today. So that'll be an update for you guys. Yeah, it's all exciting stuff. It's all very busy on the farm at the moment. Well, we've got a fair bit of cloud up there but hopefully it'll hold off. It didn't rain yesterday. So quite happy about that. Once this chain link fencing goes up, it can rain all it likes. I'll be quite happy to see it. Well, as you can see, what uh, Kay has done is uh, hooked up the DAC DAC to a generator. And then the uh, 
power leads will come off of that to the welding unit. It's a great piece of improvisation, isn't it, to use a DAC DAC for almost anything you need on the farm to generate power. Uh, just an incredible piece of kit, it really is. And that'll make sure it don't move about. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me, though, the ingenuity of these people. You know, they'll take what they've got, you know, the basic of things and then make something out of it. Truly is uh, very inventive. Well, it's not that sunny, so um, you might be wondering why uh, the sunglasses. Uh, my father-in-law just gave them to me and said, uh, mind your eyes on that welding. And he's absolutely right, of course. Now, uh, if you've got a problem with this, guys, just um, look away for a second because you're going to start welding. But this is fantastic, isn't it? So this is how it all works, this is how it's all hooked up. You've got the DAC DAC onto the generator, cable coming through. Onto a plug of course, onto uh, the welding unit. And then they'll start welding. And there we go guys, that's the uh, start of the welding. So uh, yeah, progress, it's all good. Now again, I'm not sure how much we're going to achieve today, but hoping this stretch along here, the first 35 metres. Well, they say it uh, never rains but pours, and uh, that's pretty much true today. They've just delivered the concrete post for the new shack. So fantastic. They were bang on schedule. They said three days, and there it is. But one project at a time. At least the uh, materials are on site, so we can make a move on that as soon as the chain link fencing is finished. Ah, no. What's happened is the uh, truck has got stuck in the mud. So they're just hooking up um, a tow rope and see if they can tow it out. I can't honestly say at this point that I'm convinced. And this is the reason why, you know, a four by four is much better for a farm work. But it is what it is and uh, we'll see if this works. Now watch this space because if they can't do it, they'll find somebody with a tractor and guarantee it. Somebody in the local community will uh, come and give a hand. I'm sure of it. Oh no. The rope literally just snaps straight off it. As you can see, Pi's over there helping out Kane. Pi's one of these people she just loves to get stuck in and uh, when it's anything like this it's new she just loves it because she doesn't look at it as just work it's a learning experience and I'll guarantee you this if ever we had to do something like this again I'd probably do the welding she's such a dab hand at things well about 10 minutes ago I said that uh, if they couldn't get that truck out they'd go and get a tractor I weren't wrong <laughs> community service look there it is It was the only logical thing to use, to be honest with you. That's the only thing that's going to drag that truck out. Again, you know, just a classic example of the uh, community pulling together and helping one another out, because there'll be no charge for this. The trouble appears to be for me they've almost grounded the back axle that's in there pretty deep i actually thought the uh, tractor would pull it out of there like butter you know, when you look at it from the front you can see that it, um, its left hand side is really embedded what can you say but um oops you know bringing it down here wasn't such a great idea it wasn't my idea <laughs> i'm not taking blame for it they'll figure it out though I'll keep you posted on the progress. Well, finally, she's coming out. We'll have a look in a second, see how big that rut is that they were stuck in.
There you go, success. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, uh, they'd have never got it out there without that tractor. <laughs> yep, bit of community effort, fantastic, isn't it? You can see where the right uh, tyre was hitting on the floor though, here. And then it got stuck in there. That was the back wheel. And the front wheel was even deeper. I mean, that's, uh, that's quite a rut that it got stuck in there. Wow. But the bottom line is, uh, they delivered the post. <laughs> that was a success. And there they are, six of them. So guys, uh, what's this space? Um, the shack will be next. I'm making headway with the uh, chain link fence at the moment, that's all good. Kay's doing a great job welding it though. But I said it's not only going to look better, it's going to be far more functional as well. Keep all the animals out. Absolutely perfect. Well, as you can see, I'm at the uh, Cooking Learning Centre. It's all part of the homestay programme that uh, they have there here in the village. So tourists from Bangkok, for instance, come here and they just see how village life is. Now, this is a bit of a long story, but I'll, I'll try and make it short. The other day, Pi and I were on the farm and uh, this fella turned up who happens to be a, a government representative for homestay and um, efficiency economy. Basically, what he wanted to do was bring a group of people here to see how we live and they chose our farm. There is a reason they chose our farm because we're famous. <laughs> yes, our YouTube channel um, basically inspired this. So they wanted to come and see Pi and I, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And we're not looking at a couple of people, we're looking at uh, about 80 people. Chiang Rai, well this part of Chiang Rai doesn't get a vast amount of tourism. It's a bit of a shame really because uh, this part of the uh, country has so much to offer to tourists and I've said this before. So this should be quite interesting. Um, these folks basically are here to eat. They're all going to sit and eat some of the local food. It's all been prepared and it's all been laid out for them. And once they've finished eating, they're then going to come along to um, our farm, which I yeah, think yeah. is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I'm a bit tickled pink really because it's kind of weird, you know, you know, people contact us all the time. But, um, I've never really thought about fame. It's not the sort of thing that uh, I think uh, is relevant to us, but certainly all these people uh, quite enjoyed the videos that we've uh, produced. There's quite a few people here. The chap on the microphone is the boss himself. He's the head of the uh, program. Really nice fella. He's the, the guy that came to the farm and met with us and uh, asked if it was okay if he did this. So yeah, I think it's really, really cool. You can see Pi giving a hand now and basically lay out the food on these little wicker tables. You can see the food actually looks really, really nice, but of course it is extremely spicy. Pi's really happy. She loves doing anything like this. Just loves it. Well, as you can see, people are now starting to eat and enjoy themselves. Sorry, Gab. <laughs> you can speak English. Yes. <laughs> good. <laughs> Is the food good? Yes. Good. Well, there's the thing about vlogging. Yeah, you never really think about this, but um, as you guys know. We have over 2,000 subscribers and I'm quite happy to chat away to you guys. I mean, you're a simple bunch of folks anyway. But to actually stand in front of a crowd and, um, you know, sort of give a speech and, and do a, a Q&A, it was kind of strange, very, very strange, almost surreal. But uh, 
thoroughly enjoyable. The folks there are really nice, and uh, they wanted to know all sorts of information about, you know, what I came, where I came from, what I did back home, and um, what we're doing on the farm. And it all showed a lot of interest. So Pi and I basically stood there for 20 minutes doing a Q&A with these guys. Absolutely incredible. Really good experience. I've never done anything like it. It looks now like uh, they've all eaten, of course, and um, we're going to go off to the farm. It's not just our farm, they're going to be looking at a couple, but um, basically these folks want to know how it's done and uh, you know how their food is produced. So and I think it's a great thing, I, I just it gives people enlightenment, you know, to educate somebody of course is, is a gift and uh, yeah, if you can uh, shed light on uh, these types of things, yeah, I think it gives a better appreciation for it as well, so I think it's really, really cool. And here come all the folks to have a look at the farm. Good, isn't it? So there we have it, a load of people on the farm. I've never seen it this busy. It's really nice though. Trolley cup. Number one. <laughs> it's really cool, isn't it? Well, as you can see, a huge amount of people. But it's nice to see that people are actually interested in the farming communities here. It's, um, yeah, it's, it gives them an insight as to where their food comes from and how it's grown. And uh, yeah, it, it certainly, you know, enriches their lives as well as ours. I think they all thoroughly enjoyed the uh, rides on the Dak Dak though. That was uh, pretty cool. Well, I think they like uh, feeding the fish. But it is a little bit too warm in the uh, day for the fish to be feeding properly. But they're coming up. <laughs> Fella here with the bullhorn. He's the guy that uh, organises everything. Good, huh? I actually like to see this because again they've never seen much like it either so they're doing their little photo ops <laughs> they're having a great time absolutely brilliant I love it, oh, I do. Oh, I just love it. That's your group photo op there. <laughs> cool though, isn't it? <laughs> now there's another benefit to this for mum and dad and Pi. Every time one of these groups turn up, they will get paid between three and 500 part, depending on how many people uh, attend which is great for these guys. It gives them an, an additional income. And of course, it all gets put towards the uh, farm, the things that we need doing. So absolutely fantastic. Here's a quick progress update for you on the um, fence. We didn't get quite as much done as we wanted to do today, but understandable considering uh, what else has been going on. A very, very, very busy day. But um, yeah, there it is. You can see now that um, nearly one side has been completed, which is not bad. 
we knew it was going to take a few days to do. So yeah, it's getting there. It's another piece of progress that's taking shape and taking shape quite nicely. So Pi and I are extremely happy with this. Our mum and dad are thrilled. So, you know, it's good all round. We're all very, very happy with it. I doubt this farm has ever seen so many people in one go. Well, here we go. They're all on their way now. They spent uh, about an hour here. And they've all had a really good time. A few people have said, oh, they're going to come back. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think it's really nice. Different, isn't it? Sometimes some, some people, they work a bit the office. This one, they, they tell us mm. how, to, like, how to save food. Yep, yep. And... Take care. <laughs> Cup and cup, talk to you. Cup and cup, cup and cup. Bye bye now. Cup and cup, you're welcome. Cup and cup, cup and cup, talk to you. Cup and cup. Excellent, isn't it? Well, there you go, guys. That pretty much wraps up Pie and Ice Day. It's been fantastic. What do you reckon, dear? <laughs> that was good, though, wasn't it? Uh, oh, what a day. But the first group can come. Yeah, that's the first down. group that's ever uh, that's come here. So, And uh, the guy said he'll arrange for more groups. So, yeah, I, I think it's absolutely terrific. They certainly enjoyed it. They enjoyed the uh, questions and answers that we gave. And, um, and they, uh, some, some, some people can, can keep idea yeah yeah it gives them an idea as well certainly gives them an idea of what it's like to farm in thailand that's for sure so yeah all in all i think a fantastic day yeah. as you can see we got some of the fencing done not quite as much as we'd hoped but um you know it's been a busy day so uh us us celebrities here we, we've got a busy lifestyle <laughs> it's tough being famous you know that <laughs> Well, that's about all for today, guys. Um, I've got to get back and start editing this. Well, and we've got to get back on the farm later and feed all the animals. We'll catch you tomorrow. Whatever you do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. And uh, Pi and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys.